First of all, can I ask you about how you're feeling, particularly given what has happened to Hamish and those four others who are on board? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head with your, your introduction. Um, our feelings have to be with the, the family and friends of those who are trapped. Um, and all of our thoughts and wishes go with those those five souls that you know desperately trying to get to the surface. Um, you know, we, it's definitely a time issue now. Uh, the oxygen is going to be starting to get a lot lo a lot lower. Um, the the hopeful inc uh, outcome that everybody was praying for was that the the vessel had surfaced and just wasn't in communication for some reason. Um, it's still a large area to be searched, so so um, it may still be on the surface because it wouldn't be visible above the water. Um, the the uh, U.S. Coast Guard said this morning that they'd heard sounds of mm -hmm. what could be knocking every 30 minutes. Um, that does tend to indicate that maybe it is them below the water. Um, and that that's the kind of thing that I would have expected from a seasoned explorer like Hamish, you don't just knock randomly on, on the, the vessel. You do it at a set period so that it's obvious that it's humans. Yeah. I, I, and I wonder, Chris, whether that was, was that something that might have been taught as part of your engagement with the Ocean Gate um, expedition team, that they, they walked you through safety advice whilst you were in inside the craft before you potentially went on an expedition of that kind? Um, no, I, I didn't personally get to their, their safety uh, briefings. Uh, I'll pull out before that. Mm. Um, I doubt it's anything that they went through. By the time you get down to the thought of knocking on the hull, you're quite a long way down the disaster yeah. scenario. Yeah. Um, so they probably wouldn't have gone that far. This, this is uh, something that um, Hamish or um, the, the CEO of OceanGate have probably come up with. Sit, they'll be sitting there, whatever the situation is, we don't know if it's snagged, we don't know if it's sunk to the bottom, uh, just lost power, what it is, but um, they, they'll be going through scenarios in their head. Yeah. Um, they'll, they'll be trying to keep calm, preserve oxygen, um, not breathing hard, so, you know, banging on the, 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 uh, the hull intermittently indicates that there's humans doing something, um, but, you know, banging on the hull, they'll use more breath so they want to preserve oxygen and can i ask you chris how far you got in your engagement with ocean gate were you how, how close were you to diving down to the wreck of the titanic on one of these things um i pulled out fairly early on um why? i don't really want don't really want to go into the reasons why at present whilst we're still trying to rescue mm -hmm. these people that's something that we can look at when we've had hopefully a successful outcome and, yes. and found these guys no I, d I completely understand but i I, re I read in the paper that you you had safety concerns yourself would that be that's a fair that, characterization that's, co that's correct but yeah. i think just now let's let's focus on these poor guys and your your expectation was that you were going to go hopefully down to see the titanic is that why you you wanted to go on it um, the, the, so personally, yes, I'd be seeing the Titanic, but um, we, we signed up as mission specialists. We all had jobs to do, um, and they will have had on, on this mission. Oh, I see. The, so the, you were assigned the, a role on board the craft? Yes. The, the original idea of the Ocean Gate expedition was to do a 3D scan of the wreck. Um, which could be used to monitor the rate of decay of the wreck. So you could compare it, do another scan in a few years and just see what's decaying um, with, the, with a view to then we might be able to um, preserve it a bit longer. That was the scientific rationale behind it. Um, and then the, the mission specialist would be responsible for doing part of that scan or for um, looking after the communications to the mothership whilst uh, somebody else was driving the vessel. Um, or, or, or smaller things like that. Uh, you know, the idea of looking at flora and fauna that's down there as well. How long had you known Hamish? I'd known him since 2016. Um, went to the South Pole with him and Buzz Aldrin, actually, um, and, and that's where I got to meet him. Um, I, before we flew out to Antarctica, um, I was keen to go up Tabletop Mountain. Everybody else took the cable car, but Hamish was the only guy who put his hand up to, mm. to climb it with me, and that's where I got to know him. And I wonder if you don't mind me asking about um, the, the the mission itself and what you went on. I see, I read reports that it's up to a quarter of a million quid to go on one of these. Um, yes, I, I believe that's what they're charging these days. Um, in when when it was initially started, it was it was closer to uh, a hundred and ten thousand. Do you mind me asking how much you paid? Um, I paid a hundred and ten, but I 
took it back out before uh, the mission went ahead. Yeah. And and how long before the mission went ahead did you decide this isn't for me? Um, before the, their first missions, it would probably be over 18 months okay. because um, it was the end. So signed up in 16, so it would be the end of 18. And I wonder, Chris, how, I mean, given what has happened in the last few days and how relatively close you came to being on that ship, I wonder if you have spent time thinking about, God, this could, this could have been me. Um, n- yes, that has occurred to me. Um, one of the things that you'll find in common with uh, modern explorers, if you like, Hamish and myself and, and many other people, is you, you, you go into these things knowing the risks, um, you assess the risks, you find ways to mitigate those that you can. That might be by using different equipment. It might be by bringing in other experts. It might be by something simple, by shifting the date that you, you try your expedition. But you, you try and bring those risks down as much as possible, but you always know there's a risk there. Um, and that's something that's, that we we tend to accept. It's a heck of a risk, isn't it? And we, as you say, we just hope that they're able to find them quickly. I know that this uh, Coast Guard update is due to take place in the next few minutes in Boston, Massachusetts, because, uh, you know, people want their son back, they want their husband back, and you pr- presumably, Chris, want your friend home. Um, I'd like to see them all come home, whether they're friends or not. Um, you know, they're, they're five human beings. Um, and they've, they've just gone down to do a scientific expedition. You know, let, let's, just, let's just hope they come, come back up safely.